Hey there! In today's video, we are going to create a web application. So let's do that. Let's go to our new best friend, Registry Terraform, and search for web. Let's go to the documentation first and search for web application, web, web app, actually. So um, that's the web application here and the resources and the, that's called app service however i want to create an app service on linux so let's see if there is something called an app service uh, for linux here and yeah that's Linux function, Linux web application, and that's it. Um, no need for provider and resource group. So let's take this example here and let's get back to the code. Let's just put it here and see what do we need to change. Um, I don't like the name example, so Let's change. This is the service plan. So in Azure to create a web application, we need first to deploy a web application plan. It's a service where you can put uh, as many web application as you want. So we need to create this service plan. Um, okay, so the name of the service plan is going to be my service plan okay and this is this is going to be hard coded here this is the parameter of the resource group this is the location location is is us the OS type is Linux and the SKU name. I actually, I already know some less, uh, some cheaper than that, which is the B1. Let's use that. Um, okay, that's it for the service plan. And now we can create our web application, which is not going to be called, um, if you're wondering how I easily select every equally named example here, it's Control plus D. So I just select one and Control D, Control D, Control D, and I'm going to select every same string as the other one. So I can change whatever I want. Okay, so this is going to be my web app okay um this is again the resource group this is the parameter so is it's the same one the location is the same one also and this is the service plan id so the service plan id is something that i'm using uh, the same the same way that I got the handle string from the handle um, to the storage account, I'm going to need to take um, the service plan and put it on my web application. So um, this is going to be from Azure service plan, my service, plan dot id so you might be wondering i'm not seeing uh, an id here however there are some parameters that we are not going to uh, put there are some parameters that are going to be created uh ongoing what what does this mean uh on the moment of the creation of this resource here, 
there is going to be an ID that's going to be allocated for this resource. And this ID is going to be used by the web application. That is what I'm saying here. So it's going to be using the ID of my service plan of this module here. So that's it. Uh, this site configure is basically uh, saying it's the default. When I put this uh, empty, I'm saying use the default. I could put something uh, as use the 32 bit uh, worker here or 64 or whatever I want to use. However, I'm going to use the default configuration of the Linux OS type. This is the configuration here. So that's it. Let's use our form. Um, I don't need an init here. I need an apply. So let's use something new here. Let's use auto approve just to see what is going to happen here. Uh, an auto approve is uh, something you are not supposed to use because an auto approve uh, basically you don't have to see what's the plan and you just approve the apply. So uh, don't do this on your job. <laughs> don't do this um, because <laughs> it may uh you may you may be doing something wrong so this is the plan it, it shows to, to us but it already is deploying it so it's not showing us how am i supposed to choose if i'm going to accept this or not because i already accepted this so okay let's let's look at the plan so this is the ID, which I mentioned before, it's known after the apply, okay? And we got an error here, let's see. Um, my web app already exists. Please select a different name. So I changed the name here and apply it again and it ran perfectly and now we must see on the portal if it created perfectly and let's go to the resource group it's my sandbox and it's here the web app and the service plan let's click on that and it's on linux okay and let's browse it. Okay, uh, it's saying here my application is being executed and waiting for any content. So I created, but it doesn't have anything, which is expected since I didn't create a front and back end. Um, but the infrastructure is here. Okay. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this content and please hit the like and subscribe and share it as many as possible. Thanks.